Hello everyone, Team Ice Riders here. First of all, I want you to listen to this. What you just heard was the sound of car tires while the car was driving on a certain surface. Can you try and guess the surface? Don't worry, we can. Pretty reliably too. So the problem is well known uh, in, in countries with cold weather, all the way from Finland to Japan. Uh, slippery car surfaces cause accidents which cause us uh, billions of euros in damage each year and invaluable human lives. The problem can be fixed with the right approach, the right data and the right algorithms. Our project started out in an experimental manner and it turns out that machine learning models can be trained to reliably detect different types of surfaces. And what our team does to prevent car crashes is very simple. We listen to the road. Using a custom build setup with a Raspberry Pi, a GPS sensor, and a directional microphone, we managed to train a machine learning model which can differentiate pretty accurately between ice, gravel, asphalt, and so on. And the competition here is two-sided. On one hand, you have the car manufacturers which use their own proprietary methods of detecting slippery road surfaces. For example, temperature measurement, which, can, which is simple but pretty unreliable. And on the other hand, you have um, sens the sensor industry, which manufactures uh, more complex methods. For example, they use cameras or lidars. What differentiates our approach is its simplicity and the fact that it, it works all the time, even uh, when dark, for example. It's dirt cheap and it works. And contrary to mainstream approaches, we don't want you to think that our system is extremely complex or extremely innovative. The, the technology we use we has been here for years, is mature, now it's the right time to put it to good use. And to be honest with you, our project is not yet market ready. What we need right now is a car to gather more data. We need the know how to know how to integrate our system into uh, existing cars. And the most important, we need contacts in the automotive industry. If you can help us with that, we'd be pretty thankful. Now, let's delve a bit deeper into uh, the technical part of our project. How this exactly works is that the Raspberry Pi is connected to a directional mic mi microphone. The microphone uh, records samples of three seconds and then sends it to the Raspberry Pi, which further pre-processes and extracts features from the audio data. The machine learning model ca takes care of the complex part and then decides, based on previous data, what kind of, what kind of road surface the car is running on, for example, ice or gravel or asphalt and so on. And then it predicts in real time, that's the most important part, it predicts in real time uh, the, the, the road surface, which can obviously be used for human drivers or autonomous cars. We managed to drive over 500 kilometers. We recorded uh, at least 40 hours of data with six different surfaces. Uh, dry asphalt, wet asphalt, ice, snow, gra wet gravel and dry gravel. And it turned out to be pretty fun, uh, driving on ice, for example, <laughs> and quite dangerous. Uh, the best results we achieved was with the KNN, KNN system. We managed to achieve an accuracy of 94%, and the system works in real time. I must say it's a pretty original idea, and at first we didn't really believe in it, but the idea came from Dr. Mati Murtoma. He had this idea of recording uh, the audio of car tires while the car is driving on certain surfaces and then deciding what kind of surface it is. And it turned out it works pretty well and it's probably gonna be used uh, in the next ne decade in the, in the autom automotive industry. The first thing that came to mind was how did we attach the microphone to the car? We had everything set up. We had the code, uh, we had the system, everything. But in the end, we actually had to drive the car with the microphone attached to it. And what we ended up doing was stick the microphone to the car together with duct tape. And guess what? It worked again. A very simple solution. <laughs> so in the stage we are right now, we have to decide whether uh, we publish a, pa or a paper about our project. Uh, whether we decide to patent our system or we decide to uh, make a startup and then apply to some automotive industry experts and see how it goes from there. It all depends on the team. So the team that made the project possible uh, was formed by 
at Renbach and who took care of the machine learning model along with Jonas Sandelin. Uh, Nina Allen has um, experience in physics and she helped with the wind simulation and the 3D printing. Uh, Jan Bömeke took care of the application part and the front end. Uh, I took care of the embedded systems part. And uh, last but not least, Pietari is our market research expert and also our driver.